Hey guys! Uh, little one here is almost four weeks old now. Um, four weeks ago when I set, um, posted my video like the day before the c-section, I showed you what was in my hospital bag. Um, and I know I said in that video that a lot of the stuff that I was packing I wasn't really planning uh, on needing. I but you know, I, I didn't think that I was going to need a lot of the stuff that I was just throwing in just in case and because I didn't want to think about it too much. Um, so this video is going to be all the stuff that I actually did end up using. Um, it might be helpful for some of you. I don't know um, what your hospital is like, but mine provided a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that I didn't need that I had brought. Um, so I was in the hospital for two nights because of the C-section. Uh, probably could have stayed a third night if we had wanted to, but I didn't want to deal with the expense or the hassle, and it was really good to be home um, after those two nights because, you know, it, when there's beeping and nurses coming in at all hours, like, you get even less sleep than you normally do with a newborn. Um, so we were there for two nights, and some of the stuff that the hospital did provide that we didn't need to bring... Um, diapers for the baby. Um, there were, they also had like you know hats and t-shirts so I didn't use the onesies that we brought um, or really much of anything uh, for her except for these little mittens you know the little fingerless mittens that um, to keep babies from scratching themselves. I did bring a pair of these and we did end up using them um, because her fingernails, I didn't bring the nail clipper, um, and her fingernails were already pretty long, and she was scratching at her face when she was eating, um, so we put those on her. Um, for myself, I pretty much wore the hospital gown the entire time. I found it pretty convenient because it has the snaps on the shoulders so that you can just pull it down, do skin to skin, do nursing, um, and not have to worry about, you know, finagling with stuff, especially the very, the whole first day I was bed like stuck in the bed. Um, I had an IV, I had a catheter, I had those little compression things on my legs and I wasn't allowed to get out of bed for at least 12 hours. I think it was like 16 hours after the surgery. Um, but even the next day I just wore the gown um, and it was fine. I found it convenient and like I didn't feel like I wanted to get anything else on. I was fine with it as it was. Um, also I had said in my last video that I don't I don't like disposable pads. I don't use disposable menstrual products and I haven't for a few years now cuz I just they ick me out a little bit and I much prefer my cloth stuff. But I did not bother switching to cloth while I was at the hospital. Um, for one thing, you know, your bleeding's heavier the first couple of days. For another, it was easier to just have the nurses take care of doing what they do um, and to not have to worry about like anything else. So they had the mesh underwear, they had the big pads and the puppy pads and all of that. Um, it, you know, it's, this is, we're mostly ladies here, right? And, uh, yeah, you know how it is. Not pleasant, but you get through it. Um, so I used their mesh underwear and I used their products there. Um, and then the other thing that was nice that they provided, I had packed my nipple butter, but did not need to use it because I was actually given a little tube of lanolin, uh, by one of the nurses. It's just like a little sample, I think it's, what is it, it's a quarter of an ounce, it's the Lanzano brand. Um, but there's still plenty in here, I haven't used it all up yet, um, which is great because this stuff works pretty well. So, what I did use, um, I packed this fan, it's just a normal fan. I thought I was pretty silly when I packed it, but um, I actually did end up using it for whatever reason the first day. When I was nursing, I started getting really hot, um, and everyone else in the room thought it was still cold, and so I enlisted the help of some of the visitors to sit there and fan me while I was nursing, uh, just to keep me cool. And so this was helpful. It still feels nice. All right. Um, then stuff to feel human. Uh, hairbrush, toothbrush. I only brushed my teeth, I think, once in the two days I was there, but doing it did really help me feel human again. Same with the, the makeup wipes. Um, I brought a few of them in a Ziploc, and just being able to, like, wash my face just a little bit, it makes you feel more human, especially after, you know, sitting in bed for however long and not being able to move. Um, also chapstick, because you always have to have chapstick. Um, and, like, a toothbrush isn't something they were going to provide. I had to ask for a little tray to spit into, because uh, I was still stuck in bed. 
Um, but yeah, no one like offered me a toothbrush, and I don't think they would have offered me a hairbrush. They were mostly worried about other parts of my body. Um, definitely you want to have your phone charger. Um, the thing about this, especially if you're having a C-section, um, make sure that it's somewhere handy, uh, because I kept, like, my husband was using one, and I was using one, like, stuff was, d uh, buried deep in the bag where you'd have to dig it out, and so it was a little bit tricky to keep track of where all the phone chargers were, so maybe make sure that that's somewhere really convenient and handy, um, and make sure that you and your husband each have your own. Um, so that you don't have to like share because my phone got almost dead at one point because I didn't want to have to ask him to unplug his middle of the night, all that. Um, then I did bring a pair of old flip flops. I brought the, the crummy ones because I thought I might use them as shower thongs. I did not end up taking a shower while I was there. I could have um, and I definitely would have if I'd stayed the third day I think um, because I did shower that, that third day when we got home. Um, and all things considered, I think it was just nicer to be in my own bathroom with my own, like, normal shampoo and stuff instead of the travel stuff. Um, but I did end up using these just to walk around the halls because you do have to do a lot of walking to make sure, you know, keep things moving. Um, once you're out of bed at the C-section, they make you do laps. Um, so having some sort of co foot covering that's not going to be slippery is important. Uh, and then the last thing I brought the one nursing cami that I owned. This one's just from Old Navy and I had gotten it like back when I had picked up my maternity wardrobe. Um, this is not currently my favorite one. I got some off Amazon which I can link below um, which I just I prefer a little bit better as they just feel more supportive but having like I didn't want to put on a whole bra because for whatever reason okay the bra I ordered doesn't fit very well um, and just this uncomfortable when you're gonna be sitting in bed all day um, but having everything hanging out and your nipples are so sore when you're first starting to breastfeed and having a loose top that's constantly rubbing is not pleasant. So having something tighter um, to sort of hold things in place a little bit, big deal. Like I would probably have packed two of these next time um, and like worn them sooner because I didn't end up putting it on until like the last morning there and by then everything was already raw and it was unpleasant. So camisole. Um, and then I didn't pull out, but like the clothes that I wore home, I wore just like a dress home. And then as soon as I got home, I took it off because it wasn't really designed for nursing. And I uh, changed into the nightgown that I had in there that uh, was just a little bit easier to nurse in. And then obviously the outfit that she wore home. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Like everything else just stayed in the bag. Um, yeah, pretty much all the extra stuff. I didn't really need. Um, I'm not sure if there's really anything that I felt like I wish that I had packed. I think the only thing I would have changed is just making my phone charger more accessible. So that will definitely um, inform my choices when it comes time to pack the bag for my next baby, whenever that is. Um, things would have been a little bit different if I had gone into labor naturally um, and had a vaginal birth because then I would have needed more stuff for like support and everything while I was laboring. Um, stuff like the massage lotion and the yoga ball <laughs> and um, you know music or hot pads, cool pads, I don't know. All kinds of that stuff I would definitely pack if I was having a vaginal birth. But for a c-section there's not a lot you really need. They pretty much provide you with everything. Um, I wore my own socks into the OR. They didn't make me change into anything else. Um, so that's just, I don't know, something I wouldn't have expected. Anyway, that is it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. I, I will have more pre-recorded stuff coming up. We're still working on uh, all of my planner progress. And um, then I will see you guys next Sunday for another update. Have a good one. Bye.